Good morning, sirs. Day 29. Wow, we are almost at the end of the month. Today's topic is a new prayer. We are reading from scripture Psalms 96 verse 1. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. The key to spiritual growth is developing healthy and holy routines called spiritual disciplines. But once the routine becomes routine, we need to change that routine. Otherwise, those routines becomes empty rituals. We end up going through the motions and do them out of memory rather than from our heart. We can go into autopilot like getting up in the morning, we brush teeth, we have shower, breakfast and get ready and go to work. And our prayers also can become into autopilot mode. One of the greatest spiritual danger we face is learning how to do something but forgetting why we do it. In a study they conducted on song, we found out we stop thinking about the lyrics after we sang them 30 times. It may vary from people to people but the the thing is that the same it is common with every every per, every person. The number may vary but the tendency is universal. If we are not careful, we are not only really worshiping God but we are lip syncing. So that is of no use. Six times in the in the Psalms the Psalmist tell us to sing a new song. Sing a new song. We read it in 6 Psalm 96:1 and Psalms 34. It keeps on telling sing a new song to the Lord. Evidently God get tired of the old things. He is a god of the new beginnings. He is the god of new things. He is done he is you cannot box him into one box saying that he has done it like that and he will do it like this and continue to do the same way god is a god of the new beginning we read it in isaiah 42 verse 9 behold the former things have come to pass and a new thing i will declare before they spring forth i will tell you of them sing to the lord a new song there you go and his praises from the ends of the earth so god is into new things In Isaiah 43 verse 19 says Behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it I will make road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert God is about new things so we are his children we have to have that newness the new to express our new gratitude new way of our worship to the Lord we need to be fresh with our worship and our prayer to god it should not be like in a, on autopilot left brain worship our ritualistic worship won't do any good neither does left brain prayer that is the prayer that is just like a autopilot mode it's easy to fall into prayer rut when we repeat the prayer cliches we know and then end by saying amen just like we need a new song we also need a new new prayer we need a new vocabulary a new methodology amen as humans we have a tendency to do the things that we have always done we see some of the traditional churches they sing the old songs like hundreds of years ago thing there is nothing wrong with the singing those hymns but there needs to be a new newness in the worshiping how we worship god amen the result is timeless if we do the same thing over and over again if we aren't careful we can also pray mindlessly without thinking and that's not god wants jesus wants us when you pray don't babble like the people of the other religion do they think that their prayers are answered by my mere repeating their words again and again so let's heed heed jesus's warning and try to do something different the next time when we pray take a new try a new posture do something different you know god created every day different 
to the day past there is new season new years so there is a new happening every time god is doing new things in our life so we need to express our love and gratitude in a newer way when we were just born again our love for god was just started and then we prayed at that level now our we have drawn closer to god day by day we need to grow from glory to glory from strength to strength and our prayer has to be have that freshness to it our worship has to have that freshness to it amen so if we want god to do something new we cannot keep on doing the same old thing so this morning i encourage you church bring a new song to the lord sing a new song pray a new prayer change your posture change the way you you pray pray go for a prayer walk and pray differently do something different and see what difference it brings amen god bless you church